All right, just a quick rundown of what's going on in the greenhouse here right now. Uh, this is a tray of different kinds of herbs and flowers, and you can see they're just starting to come up. This one, same thing. There's some stuff coming up there, which I think that one's alyssum down there. And then this looks like, I don't know, maybe that's thyme. I'm not sure. Some more here. There's some watermelon seedlings. And these soil blocks are amazing because then things like watermelons, pumpkins, that kind of thing, don't like their roots disturbed when you transplant them. So you put them in a soil block like this to start growing and they just, we're just gonna get going really quickly. And we've got some tomatoes and some more tomatoes and some more tomatoes and some big tomatoes. These big tomatoes I got from my brother. Um, that one there in the back, you can kind of see how his leaves are curled there a little bit. Um, one night it got kind of cool in here in the greenhouse and these guys I think got a touch of frost so that's why they're struggling. I really need to trim that all off and the new growth will come back. There's a beautiful canna that's been growing since partway through the winter and it's doing just fine. It can hardly wait to get planted outside. It should bloom nicely this summer. And then we've got some begonias, not your tuber begonias necessarily, but the ones that people grow as annuals. You can see that. So I had one that I had brought in from last summer and last fall, and then I just separated them and potted them up so they'll root nicely and then they'll be ready for the garden. Here's some more peppers I got from my brother. He starts his plants partway through winter, so these peppers are doing really well. They've got some blossoms here, fruit set, that's, and these are three hot peppers. I don't remember what kinds they are. He had, couldn't find the tags, so. So they'll be a mystery, but they are hot peppers nonetheless. And I've got dahlias. And if you have never grown dahlias before, I highly recommend them. They are just the most beautiful plant and most beautiful flowers. They just bloom all summer long. So these dahlias, these are ones that I had there, that's a nicer focus. Anyways, I'll show you some bigger plants of it yet. But anyways, they started last, I started, last year was the first time I'd grown them. I had three, three, I think I started with three. Now, I couldn't believe it. In the fall, when I went to dig up the tubers, because you can't leave them in the ground in our climate, they will die, because we were like a zone two, zone three, and it gets way too cold for them to survive. And um, here's what the plant looks like. Anyways. Um, I dug them up in the fall and I had like three grocery, two or three grocery bags full of tubers. So I think I've got the equivalent of 20 or so plants and they're just beautiful. These plants, these are a burgundy dahlia. The plant was close to three feet tall and just a bushy plant and it just blooms all summer and it did, did so great. So it's kind of a nice option if you want a pretty flower in the summer, but don't really want to fuss with the, um, seeds as an as an annual flower and really you get one dahlia bulb and then you bring it in in the fall and it'll multiply and you can break it up and you just have the most incredible flowers so these are just burgundy ones i'll probably interplant them with the cannas i think they'll look really pretty and then i have a whole bunch of petunias that i'll do too all right moving on in the greenhouse i have got more soil blocks here these are some petunias this guy looks like he was a little deficient, but I gave him a good watering yesterday, so I think he'll bounce back. Different colors of petunias, which is why they're separated. And celery. So I'm pretty happy with the germination rate on the celery, and they're really nice, coming along pretty good. So um, all of my transplants, I won't transplant for another couple weeks. And peppers, and I'm pretty happy with how they're looking. They're not going to go out for another few couple weeks anyways, probably early June before I plant. And this is May 13th today. Some more tomatoes. I've got all kinds of different kinds of tomatoes, but lots of heirlooms. These guys are eggplant. They're the uh, really dark purple black eggplants. I just figured I'd plant all the seed that I had left over and it seems to be doing a grid. This here is a ornamental purple grass of some kind or purple. I'm not sure. 
never grown it before um from a pack seed of like 20 seeds i got three so not happy with that germination rate these are ground cherries if you've never grown a ground cherry um just pay attention to this channel and once they start to produce fruit in the summertime i'll show you what they look like but they're pretty cool neat tasty fruit more tomatoes you may have guessed that I like tomatoes and one of my favorite smells in the world. I wish you could smell this, but the smell, if you could smell my hands right now, it'd be awesome. The smell of tomato plants is definitely a favorite and you just need to brush the plant and then you can smell it. It's amazing. Love it. Crazy gardener talk, I guess. And down here, you can see there's a little cucumber. This is called the patio snacker. Um, I'm not sure what his problem is. He's struggling along, but it is a um, a container cucumber designed or developed or whatever for growing in containers, which is why I put it in there. Okay, there's the dahlias and this tall plant right here. You see that nice, nice guy there? There's a cool story behind him. That is a sunflower seed and I do some facilities management coordination and cleaning kind of stuff at a church that we go to and um, this little seed must have got sucked up in my carpet cleaner machine and the one day I was draining my machine and lo and behold there was this little sprout in the bottom of the floor sink so I took it out I thought that was just kind of a really cool lesson so I popped him in a cup and I've got pictures that I've taken of it as it's grown and um, so this is how tall it is now and he's doing really well. And it almost looks like, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's going to focus, I'm sorry if it's not. But it almost looks like it's getting close to where it might actually start to produce a flower right there. So I'm pretty sure it's sunflower, so it's pretty cool. Kind of neat. And more tomatoes, different kinds. You see the numbers here? Number 36. Here's a number 37. So what I do when I... Tr when I start all my flowers, my seeds, perennial, whatever, I just have a legend with it that I do and I just number each plant and then I just need to put the sticker on the pot with the number and then I'll go back to my clipboard and take a look and then you can, I know exactly which tomatoes these are, but look at them. They just look so good. And some more tomatoes. These guys are some portulaca. This was actually, this was a volunteer from last summer and I just saved some seed. Really pretty. Some more petunias, different colors. Some are doing great, like these guys. Some, meh, they're okay. There's some good ones there. These ones look beautiful. These ones are number one. I think these ones are white ones. So that'll mix nicely with the purple dahlias. And then we've got a different varieties of brassicas. I think there's some cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage in this mix here. And here are some Brussels sprouts. And some more watermelons, squash, that kind of stuff. Cantaloupe. Different kinds. In the soil blocks again. And these guys are going to be... That's going to be a big pumpkin plant. Because pumpkins are fun to grow. And even if it's more than we can eat, then I feed them to my chickens. And the chickens just love pumpkins. And the seeds is their favorite. And then lots of onions. I like to grow my onions as, as seed starts like this. And there's hundreds of them here. And I love having my own onions. I just hate having to buy them at the grocery store. So I grow lots. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And they've already had two haircuts. So anyways, that's the, the little... Just a quick, quick little rundown of what's going on in the greenhouse. So these cannas are super huge and I'm just trying to pot them, separate them and pot them up. But I want to show you something really cool. See that white stuff? That's actually a coffee filter that I put in the bottom of this pot to keep the dirt from going through. And I thought it was really neat that the roots have all grown through. Just wanted to show you that. It's kind of cool.